Hello, dear friends, this is Ewell Humphreys, sharing another word with you <clears throat> found in the book of 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter. And the Bible says <clears throat> there are different kinds of gifts and operations, but one spirit. To one is given the word of knowledge, and to another the word of wisdom. But these are given by the same spirit. And so here's Here's two things that I think are very important for the Christian. One of them is <clears throat> uh, wisdom. We need wisdom. And then the other is knowledge. And I think that's very important. We need, we need to recognize that we are in need of wisdom and of knowledge. And I believe God's people possesses these things if we learn how to just trust God, believe the Lord, and take what he gives us and work on it and try to improve all we can. The Bible says over in Romans, in the 8th chapter, verse 28, one of those great scriptures, <clears throat> speaking about now, speaking about knowledge. And he says, and we, for this one thing we know, see, that's knowledge. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. Amen. And so here we know that everything that happens to us is for our good. Dear Christian, whatever you're going through right now, you can rest assured that it's going to work for your good. He said it now. This is just something we might believe from time to time. This is something we know that happens every time. There are no exceptions. We know that everything is working for good to those that love God. And that's a great knowledge to know that. I thank God for that. I am so praised, pleased with that knowledge. Oh, praise the Lord. Wisdom, over in James in the first chapter, it says, If any man lack in wisdom, let him ask of God, who giveth to all men freely, and it shall be given to him. And so we need to ask God for wisdom. Wisdom is something we need to understand what God can tell, reveal to us. Wisdom is doing that which honors God and is fulfilling and helpful to our fellow man. And certainly it's going to end up a blessing for ourselves. Wisdom is so important. And it's, it's given when we ask God for it. Ask God for wisdom. And he gives it to us. And I look at it this way, that knowledge is something that God tells us what to do, and wisdom is something God tells us how to do it. Knowledge is knowing what to do, and, and wisdom is knowing how to do it. And so we need, we need knowledge to know, and we need wisdom to understand. And so God may, may God grant to you a knowledge of knowing. And you get to knowledge when you read the Bible. And you get knowledge when you listen to sermons. And you get knowledge when you pray and talk to God. But in the same way, you get wisdom. You get wisdom by reading the Word of God. You get wisdom by listening to others and learning from others. You get wisdom, you get wisdom by, praise God, by acknowledging the things that God has taught you, and the believing in His Word, the Holy Bible. You get, you get knowledge, and you understand, and the Holy Spirit reveals to you the things of Christ, and that's knowledge and wisdom. And so we have the Holy Spirit to help us to find and follow the way of the Lord. Amen. God help us to know that and to do that. And then we have a good scripture over in, in uh, 1 Timothy, the first chapter. Paul said, I have suffered zeal, a lot of things, but I'm not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. <clears throat> and Paul said, I've suffered a lot of things. And maybe I'm talking to somebody right now, and you're suffering. You're going through some difficulties. It may be physical. It may be financial. It may be material. However it might be. It might be troubles with, 
with where you're working or troubles with your family or troubles, oh, praise the Lord, in your personal walk with the Lord. But whatever you're facing, whatever's happening, you can know this, that you, you're suffering with great company. Paul said, I have I suffered. But he said, I am not ashamed. So don't be ashamed of the fact that you have to suffer, Christians, because you're in the same boat, boat with many, many others. And they all are looking to God or should be looking to the Lord, and that's who you should be looking to. Looking to the Lord, casting your care on Him, for He cares for you. Knowing that He loves you, seek to love Him more and more. Seek to understand when you can't quite understand. Seek to know when the old devil is trying to make you doubt. Seek to know. I know whom I have believed. That's the main thing, dear Christian, that you know Jesus Christ. You may have to suffer some things, but you can know in whom you have believed. And he said, and I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that which I've committed to him against that day when I stand before him. What did he commit to him? He committed his life. I want you to commit your life as best you can to the Lord Jesus. Just commit it the best you can and say, Lord, I can't see you, but I love you. I can't see you, but I want you to know that I love you. I believe in you, and I know that you're real. And so it's important for you to know in your heart in whom you have believed. And you know it. I'm talking to you Christians that you know whom we believe. Praise God for that. Keep on believing. Keep on praying. Keep on loving him, and you're growing in grace. And he's with you, and he's pleased. And the light is shining, and it's going to get brighter. And oh, praise God. You're getting strong, and you're going to get stronger. Amen. And you're getting, you're getting to be more like you ought to be, and you're going to get better. So praise the Lord. Let the hand of God direct you, guide you. I know whom I believed, amen. I, I know not how my God has come to redeem me for my own, but I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. I, I know not when my Lord shall come at night or noonday fair, or walk with him in the vale, or meet him in the air. But I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. Amen. May the Lord bless you. If you need to pray with me, pray a short prayer and asking God to forgive you. <coughs> Excuse me and that you may know that you're going to heaven. Pray a prayer like this and mean it from your heart best you can. Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins. And I believe he's coming back. I believe he rose again. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. Amen and amen. <clears throat> and then find you a good church and worship God with his people. And now I want to do a word to you Christians. Remember this, that you need wisdom and God gives it. And I'm talking to some wise people that you have the wisdom God has given and that you have the knowledge. You have knowledge. God bless you. I want you to know that God loves you and I love you. Amen.